hey guys welcome to my channel and welcome to the first episode of my doctor series if you are new here my name is dr maria i am a junior doctor and in this series i will be making medical videos to help junior doctors navigate easily through the medical life so if you're a medical student house officer or medical officer this is definitely the channel for you so go ahead and subscribe <music> of your life as a junior doctor you will at some point be required to give an IV fluid infusion. In this tutorial I will be teaching you how to calculate the drops per minute so that next time you're called to give an IV fluid infusion you can give it confidently. So for this tutorial you will need to grab your pen and paper guys. Let's start. So the general formula for any drop per minute is the amount of fluid that you're going to give in mils over the time in minutes times the drop factor. Since most IV infusions are given over hours, we can convert this formula into amount in mils over hours times 60. That's converting it into minutes multiplied by the drop factor. So what is the drop factor? The drop factor is the number of drops it takes to make up one mil of fluid. It is usually divided into macro drip and micro drip. The macro drip gives a bigger amount per drop Hence, less drops are needed to make up one mil of fluid, while the micro drip gives a lesser amount per drop. Hence, more drops are needed to make up one mil of fluid. So, for the macro drip, it's usually 20 drops per mil for clear fluids like normal saline, ringers lactate, and dextrose, and it's usually 15 drops per mil for thicker fluids like blood. The number is less for blood because blood is thicker, hence, you need a small amount to make up one mil of fluid. For the macro drip, like the solucet, the drop factor is usually 60 drops per mil. Remember, because the micro drip gives a smaller amount per drop, you need more drops to make up one mil of fluid. So using the information we've just learned, we can summarize the formulas into the following. For the normal IV fluid giving set, like saline, dextrose, or ringer's lactate, it will be amount over hours times 60 multiplied by 20, which is the drop factor. For blood giving set, it's going to be amount over hours times 60 multiplied by 15, which is the drop factor. And for the micro drip or the solucet, it's going to be amount over hours multiplied by 60 times 60. Since we have 60 and 60, they can cancel each other. Hence, for the micro drip or the solucet, the formula can further be simplified into amount in mils over hours. Now, let's look at some examples. A man admitted for an appendicectomy is placed on NPO. You are asked to give one liter of dextrose saline over eight hours. How many drops per minute will you set to achieve said target? So you can pause the video and see if you can get the answer. So how we're going to calculate this is since we're giving one liter of dextrose saline over eight hours, that roughly translates to 1000 mils over eight times 60 multiplied by the drop factor, which is 20. And the answer is approximately 42 drops per minute. You are asked to transfuse a woman admitted for the management of menorrhagia with one pint of whole blood over four hours. How many drops per minute would you set? So since we're given one pint of blood, which is about 500 mils over eight hours, that roughly translates to 500 mils over four times 60 multiplied by 15 which will give us about 31 drops per minute. Next, you are asked to give a maintenance of 150 mils of fluid to a neonate in the SCBU. You are to give the fluid over eight hours. How would you set the solucid? So since we're giving 150 mils of fluid to a neonate over eight hours, that roughly translates to 150 mils over eight multiplied by 60 multiplied by 60 again, which is the drop factor. The 60s will cancel each other and that, and that roughly translates to 150 over 8, which will give us approximately 19 drops per minute. See, that wasn't so hard now, was it? So I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from this tutorial. If you did, please drop me a like and leave me a comment in the comment section below. If there are other tutorials that you would like to see, please leave it in the comment section below. Please subscribe. It will give me the motivation to make more videos. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.